If you wonder why I'm running, it's because there's a bull after me. This is the septic tank, and this is the soak away. I have no actual idea where the septic tank and soak away are. So this is an amazing place. I mean, I get to go on some really fantastic places. Today, we're talking about something that's very, very close to my heart. You know, um, so I just wanted to show you what... You Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. This is really starting to freak me out now. I'm in a wood in the middle of nowhere. It's getting dark. I can't find the septic tank and soak away. And there's someone following me, hiding in between the trees. I mean, I'm absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Come on out, why are you hiding? And this is what we came up with. A dog poop septic tank. Yeah, that's right. And if you're just joining me, oh man, alive. Yes, I'm live on a site inspection here. Heck. That's really heavy, look at that. That's a really heavy old soak away pipe. So there you can see an outlet pipe. Now that outlet pipe is discharging straight into a water course. The Cube Septic Tank is the UK's best-selling small septic tank. It's easy to install. It's ideal for mobile homes, stables, farms, caravans, tents, outbuildings, etc. And it's available for next day delivery. So it's not hard to see why this is the best-selling small septic tank in the UK. So. How do you install the cube septic tank? Well, it's really easy. Once you've dug a small hole, you simply put the cube septic tank into the hole. Making sure that you leave enough space around the outside of it for the shingle and granular backfill. But we'll come to that in a minute. Because once you've put the cube in the hole, you then need to do this step. You now need to fill the cube up with water up to the height of the outlet pipe. Once you've done that, you now need to ascertain whether you've got dry ground or wet ground conditions. If you've got dry ground conditions, then you need to backfill with sand or granular backfill, something like 20 to 30 mil shingle. This will absorb any water pressure and stop it popping up out of the ground. If you've got wet ground conditions, then you need to um, employ a slightly different method. You've got to backfill with concrete. And the concrete um, basically acts like an anchor and will stop the, um, the cube from ever popping up above the ground. So if in doubt, concrete it in. If you need to install the cube deeper into the ground, then you can use a riser or as a, an extension neck, as they're called. The cube risers are approximately about 400 mil in height and simply attach to the top of the cube. They're really easy to put on. Okay, so you've put the cube into the ground now. Did you know that every septic tank needs a soak away? So how do you make a soak away for the cube? Well, really easy. Dig a hole and fill it with gravel, something like 20 to 30 mil granular backfill. And typically you can fill the hole to half or three quarters of its height.
So how does the soak away pit work? Well, it's a very ingenious but simple design. The gravel pit fills with liquid from the cube septic tank and it fills up to a certain height and then drains naturally away back into the soil. Hello, Jason here from Septic Tank TV and in today's live broadcast I'm going to answer a really, really popular question and that is how on earth right, do you work out the size of your drainage field? Well, it's a lot simpler and easy, easier than this looks, right? Now, this particular formula that I'm about to show you is specifically designed for soakaways in which you're going to use like a herringbone type system made up of perforated pipes and gravel, etc. All right, um, if you're looking for the calculation to work out the size of the area of your soakaway, for septic tank soak away crates, that's a completely different calculation, so I'm just, uh, which I'll show you another day. But we're just sticking with uh, a very popular traditional uh, soak away method, all right? So let me get straight into this. Let me grab my pens here. Okay, so first of all, obviously you must have somewhere in mind where you're gonna locate or in any store your septic tank. Once you've put your tank in or you've worked out the proposed location of where the septic tank is going, you then need to do this. Wherever the outlet pipe of the septic tank is going to be located, right? you just need to dig a small hole underneath the outlet pipe. Simple, right? Now, the size of the hole is quite small, believe it or not. It's 300 mil millimeters by 300 by 300 by 300 so it's basically a hole 300 millimeter squared that's it it's as simple as that so dig your little hole once you've done that you then fill right the hole up with water so the water should fill up the hole and the tide mark should just be below the lip of the outlet pipe of the septic tank then basically you leave it for 24 hours right so you leave it for 24 hours and hopefully when you come back the water will have all drained away now when i say hopefully what i mean by that is there's certain uh, <laughs> times of the year where you don't want to uh, carry out this test that i'm showing you so for example say it's rained for the last two or three days and and the ground's waterlogged and saturated then you wouldn't do this test then because it would give you a false reading so you'd wait until you had two or three four uh, dry days then you could carry the test out right okay so you've come back the next day the hole's now empty which is great so then you just fill the hole up with water again now this hole here once you've filled it with water you then literally got to imagine that it's broken up into four slices four components right and each of those slices represents 75 mil so it's 300 in total deep and if we break it up into four four quarters four segments there each of those slices represents 75 mil so why is that important? Well, it's important because you wait until the first 75 mil of water has drained away. Don't time it, just wait for it. So what I do, I have little markers in the hole, so uh, tide, tide marks, so you can work out when the water has drained to the required depth. So once the water has drained away 75 mil and it's now here the water level is there you now need to get your stopwatch out right and start the time because then what you do is you work out the time or you time the time <laughs> in which it takes the water in the hole to drain away oops to drain away 150 mil which represents two of those 75 mil slices, all right? So you time the time that it takes for the water to drain away, so then all that you're left with is 75 mil. 
Now, whatever figure you have, you would have your figure in seconds. So let's say you've done your stopwatch and the time that it's taken to drain 150 mil equals, right? Let's say it is 4,000 seconds, right? It took to drain away. That's a very important figure and I'm gonna show you what you do with that figure now, okay? All right, so then we go over to here, right? Because what you've just done is called a VP calculation or a percolation test, right? And um, basically what we're gonna do now, we're gonna work out a little calculation based on 4,000 seconds there, which will give us a figure. And I'm gonna show you how that figure comes into play in a minute. So you've got some question marks here, right? So let's rub out this question mark. So here is the uh, drainage time, the DT time, the time the time it took to drain 150 mil. All right, so we, we got 4,000 seconds there. So we put the figure of 4,000 there, and then we divide it by 150. So let me get my calculator out here. So this is live, so <laughs> my, my maths, I learned all those years ago, you know, kicks in now. So here we go. So we've got 4,000 seconds, right, divided by 150, if you're wondering where the 150 comes from, this is a government calculation, so it's a set standard, okay? So you've got 4,000, uh, let me do that again, 4,000 divided by 150 equals 26.6. So let's say 27 for argument's sake. Right, so that gives us a VP figure of, wait for this, oh, let me get my pen here, wait for this, 27. So 4,000 seconds there, equals a VP number of 26.6 seconds. So for argument's sake, right, for argument's sake, I can find my board rubber here, let's call, let's round that 26.6 off to 27. All right, so hopefully you're with me so far. Now that figure is very important because if you look here, this is, I suppose, a VP chart percolation chart so if that figure right had been 15 or below it would mean that the water was draining away too fast like say for example you're on chalk or you're on sand and the water's draining away too fast and the environmental agency may want to uh, examine your site more closely that the aquifers or other water sources weren't in risk of being polluted right so if your figure had been 15 or lower then that would be too fast and that's not good uh, okay so that's not good all right if it had been 99 or higher right that would show that the water's hardly draining away at all so you know if the if the water is coming out of your house into the septic tank and into the drain field quicker than it's soaking away then that could present a big problem it could mean that you know it's going to overflow it's going to back up to the house and the drainage field the soak away just will not do its job but in this instance in this instance the figure 27 is below the 15 and the 99 so it's in the sweet spot so we're going to give that a big fat tick there can we see that? Yeah, I was just looking on the monitor to see if you can, if the tick's off the screen. Okay, so that's step one done. We've got a figure here, look, of 27. I'm now gonna show you how to work out the size of your drainage field. And it's all based on this figure, basically. Right, so the government have got a basic, um, again, set formula here, foolproof formula to help you work out the square meterage of your drainage field. So, you've got your house, you've got your septic tank in, you've got your VP figure, what other figures do you need? Well, how many people are gonna be living in your house? So, typical rule of thumb is two people per bedroom. If you, if you work roughly on that principle, you won't go far wrong. So, let's say that you've got a two bedroom house, we're allowing two people per bedroom, so that would be four people, right? All right, so let's get rid of that question mark. And we'll put four people here. There's four people going to be living in the house using the septic tank. Now the, we get the number four. Now we times it by the VP figure. Here's your VP figure we got before, 27. So let's put 27 in there. And there we go. We're almost there. So let me get my calculator. All right. So 
here we go just get your trusty calculator number of people that are going to live in the house well we've got four right we times that by 27 which is your vp figure so four times 27 equals 108 then we times it by 0 0.25 times 0 0.25 gives us 27 so in answer to that the size of the area for your soak away would be 27 square meters there you go that was simple wasn't it how simple was that right so in another video i'll show you how that translates to the number of pipes and the configuration you can use and the amount of gravel but the point being is you've now got a basic floor plan to see whether you've got enough space to put your soak away in there and um, you can also then base your costings on on, uh, on 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 you know the amount of pipes you need the amount of gravel you need etc so there you go that's how to work out right the size of a drainage field or soak away all right so there you go thank you very much for watching this live broadcast today um if you want to see more of me or <laughs> then just go onto google and type in septic tank tv but listen as i said thank you very much for watching i hope this video uh, has helped and i'll speak to you soon and if you subscribe right now, you'll have a chance to win a free bucket of soak away worms. If you wonder why I'm running, it's because there's a bull after me. This is the septic tank, and this is the soak away. I have no actual idea where the septic tank and soak away are so this is an amazing place i mean i get to go on some really fantastic places today we're talking about something that's very very close to my heart you know um so i just wanted to show you what you <laughs> hello jason here from septictank.co.uk this is really starting to freak me out now. I'm in a wood in the middle of nowhere. It's getting dark. I can't find the septic tank and soak away. And there's someone following me, hiding in between the trees. I mean, I'm absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Come on out, why are you hiding? And this is what we came up with. A dog poop septic tank. Yeah, that's right. And if you're just joining me, oh man, alive. Yes, I'm live on a site inspection here. Heck. That's really heavy, look at that. That's a really heavy old soak away pipe. So there you can see an outlet pipe. Now that outlet pipe is discharging straight into a water course. Imagine a small organic sewage system that was powered by nature, not electricity. Imagine an organic sewage system that didn't smell, didn't cost a penny to run and could never break down. Welcome to the ecosystem, a non-electric sewage treatment plant that uses bacteria to convert sewage waste into a clean, mineral rich liquid fertilizer that feeds your grass, your plants, the trees and flowers, creating a healthy, beautiful garden. Be the envy of your neighbours with the amazing ecosystem. Live broadcast, yes, and today, we're talking about something that's very, very close to my heart. Do you know what it is? Worms. Worms. Oh, man. If only you knew how great worms were. Oh, man. You'd pay rapt attention to this. Worms, right, are a, they're not only man's best friend, right? Worms are a septic tank's best friend. Yes, that's right. Worms are amazing. Do you know what? 
Worms have been around for thousands and thousands of years, breaking down waste and, and matter into safe, clean, organic fertilizer that feeds the planet. You know, worms are amazing. You know, you know, eventually we even get eaten by worms. So I just wanted to show you, right, in today's live broadcast, the power, the power of worms, right? Have a look at this, right? Let me see if I can find my, my board rubber somewhere. Okay, here's my board rubber. Right, okay. So let me show you, <clears throat> if you're a septic tank owner or you're a dog owner, I'm going to show you how worms, right, can save you thousands and thousands of pounds. I'm going to show you how you can use worms to your advantage, right? Okay, so have a look at this. Okay, so if I just rub all this out, right? All right, so let me show you how worms can really help you. Have a look at this, right? So first of all, let me show you this, right? So here, this is a septic tank, all right? And as you know, can you see that on the screen here? I know it's a bit wonky, but uh, you know, let's just do that again. Hold on. Let's do it a bit straighter. Hold on. Oh, I don't know how much straighter that is. Is that a bit straighter? Well, you get the point, don't you? All right, so a septic tank will fill up, right? Septic tanks fill up with poo and wee and all kinds of other nasty bits of fat, grease and the sludge, right? And a lot of the fat and the grease builds up on the bottom of the septic tank here, just like so, right? Okay. So over time, that, the fat, grease and sludge builds up on the bottom of the septic tank. So if I put there, look, fat, grease and sludge. All right, all right, there we go. There's fat, grease, and sludge. They're building up at the bottom of your septic tank, right? And it's not only that, there's something else called suspended solids. In the tank, you've got all these bits and bobs of horrible stuff. I mean, look, you go to the loo and you flush the loo because you want to get rid of stuff forever, right? All right, but it ends up in your tank. And all these little bits float around in your septic tank. It's true. But what I'm about to show you, okay, okay. So don't let this put off you, put you off your dinner or anything. I'm about to show you something really, really, really good, right? That will um, turn your septic tank into an organic composter. Have a look at this, right? All right. So these things, right? So all these bits are called suspended solids. All right. And they're the reason why you have to get your septic tank emptied every year, because all these solids, if you're not careful. So if I put here, if this is, you imagine this is the, um, the inlet pipe coming in. And if I put on there, that's the outlet pipe going on, going on, going out, right? So, all right, so there you go. So what happens is over time, all the fat and the grease and the sludge build up inside your septic tank. And not only do they block up the septic tank, but they also make their way, right? All these suspended solids go into your soak away. Now the soak away, um, if I put soak away there, look, soak away, there we go. Huh? Now the soak away <coughs> is the most important part of your septic tank. It really is. It, because if you imagine, where does all your water go? If you think about it, where does all your bath water go? Where's all your dishwasher water go? Where's your sink water go? Where's your toilet water go? Yes, it goes into there, but then it soaks away into your soak away. But what fat, grease, and sludge do is that they block soak aways and septic tanks up. So you've only got three normal ways in, in which to get rid of all that fat, grease, and the sludge. You can get the septic tank emptying man in. He'll come in, he'll charge you 200 quid, and he'll suck all that out of your tank. But then the next day, the next day after that, and the day after that, it all starts to fill up with poo and wee and sludge and horrible things again, right? So it's a very, very, very temporary solution, right? Option number two. Occasionally, you can get your, your, your lines or your pipes jetted, right? Jetted with high-powered water. Do you know what I mean by that? Well, let me show you. This is what a jet looks like. It looks like that, and it's got an, a knob on like that, and it's got a thing there. And uh, it fires, fires really 
how powered water down you soak away pipes but that won't clean you soak away out because what happens is when you fire hyper powered water down your so quick compresses all the fat and the grease and the sludge so those are common ways in which people try and keep their septic tank and soak away pipes clean but they just cost you money and they do more harm than good so this is where look here we go look at this right so this is where right worms come in now that's a worm right you probably guessed that so i'm just going to put worm here look worm right and uh, if I just show you this, right? So I can you see that worm on the? Yeah, I love worms, right? I really, really love worms, right? When I used to live in Shropshire, right? I used to when I was about oh man, I can remember when I was about five, six or seven. I used to sneak down to the bottom of the garden. Down the bottom of the garden was like a, a cast iron lid, and I'd lift the lid up, and I'd kind of look inside it. Oh man, it'd be like something out of Indiana Jones. It'd be they'd been swarming with all these worms in there. Ah, oh, shut the lid again, and ooh, you know, it give me nightmares and stuff. But listen, as I got older, I realised that those worms that lived in there kept the septic tank clean. They ate all the fat and the grease and the sludge. I'm not kidding you. They're amazing, right? And so. Literally three or four years ago, <clears throat> um, uh, my dad said to me, why don't you start selling worms for people to put in their septic tanks? Because they'll eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge. You know, that is this is the main reason all this fat and the grease and the sludge causes, right? Causes 100% of septic tank problems. Oh, in fact, if I just get that out and put problems there, look. Right. Worms prevent and fix problems. Fat, grease, and sludge cause 100% of septic tank problems. Now, what do what do I mean by soak away worms? Well, have a quick look at this, right? Have a quick look at this. Let me just show you this, right? So bear with me. I'm still here. Oh, uh, where are we? There we go. If I just share the screen with you here, look. There you go. Oh, can you see that? So this is what I'm talking about. Now, let me open that. Oh. right so that's the worms i'm talking about they're called i'm going to show you a little bit more about those in a minute but they're amazing so what happens really is you get a bucket i've got a bucket over there but i have to kind of can't be bothered to get but look you get a bucket of these worms which i'll show you about in a minute and you just literally take the lid off your septic tank and you tip these worms into your tank all right so you get a bucket of these worms right and the worms go into the septic tank just like so and they live in there and they fall to the bottom and they make their way into the fat and the grease and the sludge and they just eat everything they pick it clean if you think about it like i said before worms eat and even eat us when we when we're dead and buried right they're the they're the cleaners of the earth you know you've got trees and you've got vegetation which are the lungs of the earth well, if you think about worms, right, they're the cleaners of the earth. They clean everything, right? But no, not there, look. Cleaners of cleaners of the earth. And they are, they eat everything, everything that's disgusting and horrible. Them and maggots just eat everything and they pick it clean. So what they do, they live in the tank, right? And they eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge. So all this fat and the grease and the suspended solids, they eat it all. They clean up the septic tank. So what that means is if you imagine this, if you haven't got any fat and grease and sludge in your septic tank, you don't need to get it empty. Right. So, they, oh, man, people email me saying, oh, mate, you've saved me 400 quid a year on emptying costs and stuff like that. So you'll always get some deposits. Right. So then your poo and your wee and your fat and your grease and the sludge will still come in. Right. It'll still come in through here. Look. So you get all that and it will still pour into the and float on top and all that but the worms actually live in the tank and it's some people say to me oh you know i've heard that um worms drown they don't drown worms do not drown in liquid where there's oxygen present so for example if you imagine you've got a stagnant pond right uh, and, and everything dies in a stagnant pond the, the, the frogs die the I mean, you know the, the lilies die um 
everything dies, right? The boatman, you know, there's like a boatman, the skip on the water, everything dies in a stagnant pod that stinks because there's no water going in and there's no water going out. Well, in a septic tank, it's like it's like a river. It's like it's like a little waterfall. But you got all your water that comes in. So here's all the oxygen, all the, or, or everything that you pour in from your house, right? That's your inlet, and then the water. Right, you get a relative displacement in here, and then the rest of the water makes its way down into the soak away. So it's constantly being oxygenated. If that's a word, I'm pretty sure it's a word, or well, it's very close anyway, right? So it puts oxygen back in the water, right? And so that keeps the worms alive. So worms don't drown in water. I've seen it. You know, I found, I sell thousands of these worms to people and then um, and, and the testimony is they email me saying oh jason the worms are amazing mate and then their neighbors buy worms off me and then so so look so worms right are the cleaners of the earth so i'm just showing you this because it's a really inexpensive way in which you can um keep your septic tank serviced and maintained without having to spend two three four five six hundred quid a year on empty costs right and what's more than that, all these worms will then make it their way into your soakaway. Now, the soakaway is probably the most vulnerable part of a septic tank system because in a soakaway, it's made up of pipes and arteries. And just like you imagine if I just ate junk food all the time, imagine I just went to McDonald's all the time and ate loads of McDonald's and went to live in Chinese and ate loads of Chinese, my cholesterol would go and it blocks up my arteries, right? And so, you know, it causes heart attacks, and I die and all that, you know. But, 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 so um, then you have to take beta blockers and you have to take aspirin to thin your blood and all that kind of stuff. Oh, imagine, right? That's exactly what happens to soak away pipes. After a while, all the fat and the grease and the sludge and the debris block all the arteries up. And, it, and that's why soak aways only have a lifespan of about 15 years. But, right? put some worms in there and yes they'll live in the tank they'll go to the bottom they'll eat all the suspended solids but then they make their way into the um the soak away and they eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge they probably had like another flipping 50 60 70 years to the life of your soak away so whilst fat grease and sludge cause 100 percent of problems worms soak away worms in fact let me put it there let me put this here right i don't know if i've got enough space on there Soak away worms, right? Are the cleaners? They're the ones that are going to look after your septic tank. So let me show you this, right? Let me quickly show you this. Come over here, have a look at this, right? So, oh, if I go to here, look, if I show you this. All right, so here we go. Here's the soak away worms. So let me show you this, right? So this is what the worms look like. This is what the worms look like, okay? And, um, and there you go. That's what they look like. That's a guy putting a bucket of the worms into the tank. They then fall into the tank. Look at that. There they are on top of the tank. And they make their way through the fat and the grease and the sludge there. And that's what they look after. So look, before and after. So there you go. So that is how amazing these soak away worms are. So there's someone emptying there and it can cost you 200 quid at a time. So if you're wondering where to get soak away worms from, um, literally, if you go to septictank.co.uk, that's my website there. And here you'll know soak away worms. You can actually click that there. I do three different buckets. We do large, extra large, and a mammoth bucket there. If I just click that for you there, look. Yeah, 99 quid, that's all they are. So and here's an easy way to fix and unblock your soak away and to clean your septic tank. So here we go. So that's what the little wormies look like. That's what the bucket looks like. And uh, again, that's before and that's after. There you go. So that's what they look like. So... I thought I'd just show you, right, how amazing worms can be, right? So if you'd like to prevent septic tank problems, hold on, sorry, the camera's gone a bit skew iffy because I knocked, I knocked it with my foot, right? So if you'd like to prevent septic tank problems, if you'd like to fix your septic tank problems, maybe you've got a block soak away, right? And um, you've been, oh, I don't know, blimey, I mean, you've been quoting three, four, five grand to replace your soak away. Please, 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 before you consider flaming, replacing your soak away, try using soak away worms. They really, really do work. This isn't a sales pitch. I'm not making this broadcast because, you know, I want you to necessarily buy my stuff, but I'm just showing you an alternative way. You don't have to spend three, four, five thousand quid replacing your soak away. Worms are amazing. Do some research 
on soak away worms. So there you go. That was my tip of the day. Worms are amazing, right? Not only are they the cleaners of the earth, right, but they're amazing. They're a septic tank's best friend. So listen, thank you very much for watching my live broadcast today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with some more tips to save you money, uh, to fix your problems. And uh, if you want to see more of me, then just go to Septic Tank TV. Just type that in in Google and you'll see the uh, Septic Tank TV channel. We're live on YouTube, and Facebook and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. So listen, have a great one and I'll speak to you soon. If you wonder why I'm running, it's because there's a bull after me. This is the septic tank, and this is the soak away. I have no actual idea where the septic tank and soak away are. So this is an amazing place. I mean, I get to go on some really fantastic places. Today, we're talking about something that's very, very close to my heart. You know, um, so I just wanted to show you what... You Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. This is really starting to freak me out now. I'm in a wood in the middle of nowhere. It's getting dark. I can't find the septic tank and soak away. And there's someone following me, hiding in between the trees. I mean, I'm absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Come on out. Why are you hiding? And this is what we came up with. A dog poop septic tank. Yeah, that's right. And if you're just joining me, oh man, alive. Yes, I'm live on a site inspection here. Heck, that's really heavy, look at that. That's a really heavy old soak away pipe. So there you can see an outlet pipe. Now that outlet pipe is discharging straight into a water course. Septic tank soak away crates are the future of soak away products. Not only are they really, really easy to install, but they're also fully compliant with UK building regs. And so it's no wonder then that septic tank soak away crates are the best selling soak away product in the UK today. So, how do you install septic tank soak away crates? Well, it's really easy. Simply dig a hole and then put the septic tank and the silt chamber into the hole, connecting them together. Once you've done that, all you need to do is then lay down the membrane that comes free with the septic tank soak away crates. Once you've done that, just start laying the individual soak away crates on top of the membrane. They simply just clip together and the clips are also supplied free with the soak away crates. Now these crates, as I said, are designed for the DIY market and they're really easy to put in. Typically, the crates will take one to two hours to install. Once you've put the crates in, simply cover them then with the membrane and then just cover the membrane with the topsoil. Job done. So, how do septic tank soak away crates work? Well, these crates have been designed by German scientists and it's very, very clever how they work. Basically, Septic tank soak away crates create a cavity inside the membrane and this cavity allows the sewage effluent to flow into it. Now the crates and the membrane then slowly release the treated effluent into the surrounding topsoil and from there it then just naturally drains away into the ground. Very, very clever indeed. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.
All right, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. Welcome to another live broadcast. And in today's broadcast, I'm going to show you the top three septic tank problems in the UK. Well, they're probably the top three septic tank problems in the world, never mind just the UK. Right, so let's get on with the first one. What do you think the first biggest septic tank problem is around the world or in the UK? Well, let me show you. Number one, it is smells. That's the number one septic tank problem in the UK today. <laughs> it's been probably been the biggest problem over the last two, three hundred years. So let me show you why a septic tank smells. But even better than that, let me show you an amazing simple solution that will get rid of all your septic tank smells or prevent your septic tank from smelling. So first of all, let me just tell you why a septic tank smells. So let me just delete this a second. Okay, rub that out. There we go. All right, so now believe it or not, right, a healthy septic tank never ever smells. There's a reason for a septic tank smelling. So here you got, you've got your wastewater coming from your house here. So by wastewater, I mean all the wastewater that comes from your sink, your kitchen, um, your toilet, your shower, your bath, your washing machine, your dishwasher, all that comes down from there, right? And it goes into and it fills your septic tank up, okay? And then when it reaches this height, it makes its way towards the soakaway. That's basically how a septic tank works. Now, in the wastewater, you've got all the debris from the toilet and the sink and stuff like that. And all this debris basically floats around in the septic tank, okay? And they're called suspended solids because they float around like jellyfish, right? And then at the bottom, you get a buildup of fat, grease, and sludge, and other kind of things that builds up over time on the bottom of your septic tank. Now, that's how a normal septic tank works. That's how a healthy septic tank works. Now you've got to imagine the septic tank is like a large stomach, right? This is the mouth, this is the stomach, and that's the bottom. So why am I using the analogy like this is a big stomach? Because in our stomachs are healthy bacteria, right? And in the septic tank or the stomach of the septic tank are healthy bacteria. Now, as long as those bacteria remain healthy and are alive and doing the job that they should be doing, the septic tank will never smell. So, why does a septic tank smell? Well, let me show you. It's because of products like this, right? Bleach. Not this particular brand, right? It's got nothing to do with the brand. So, um, I'm just stating that <laughs> so I don't get sued. But it's just the sulfuric acid. You see, in every type of bleach or toilet cleaner, right? You've got like skull and crossbones on the back, and like danger, you know, danger if um, ingested or drunk. So the point is, if you and I were to drink um, bleach or toilet clean cleaner um, in a small or, or, or quite a lot of the quantity, you know, it could make us very ill, if not kill us, right? Because it damages and kills the good bacteria in our stomachs, right? And it's the same with the septic tank. If you put too much bleach down the loo or down the bath or in the shower or whatever, it ends up in here. And what happens is the bleach kills. So if I show you right in here, if I use these green dots as good bacteria, once you put the bleach in there, it kills the good bacteria. And then what, because the bacteria have all been killed, right, they can't break down and digest the waste in the septic tank or the stomach anymore. So what happens very quickly then is that the stuff in the septic tank begins to rot, begins to fester. And then from there, it begins to smell. So if your septic tank smells, 
it's because you're using too many cleaning products and it's killed the good bacteria in there. Now you're probably thinking, well, you know, I've got to use bleach, especially with the coronavirus around, I've got to use bleach and kill all these bugs that are, are, are killing people and could hurt, harm me or my family. And I'm not saying not to use cleaning products, but there's normal cleaning products for household use that aren't connected to septic tanks. And there's cleaning products that are designed to be used with septic tanks. Here's, here's a particular brand, right? It's called Ecova. I haven't got any shares or any investments. I'm not affiliated to Ecova in any way, shape or form. But the point being is they're made from plant-based uh, minerals and they contain plant-based amino acids in. So what that means is, right, this particular one is a washing up liquid. You can get a toilet cleaner. You can get uh, Ecova bleaches, stuff like that. It means that they're kinder and gentler to the germs and the bugs that live in the septic tank the things the good bacteria in the septic tank that's needed right that's needed to um, break down the bad bacteria however ecova because they're still cleaners will still kill 99 percent of the uh, germs and diseases that um, are brought into the house so they're very 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 good household cleaners they will kill all your germs but they won't kill the good bacteria in your septic tank so there you go that's number one that's why septic tank smells right and that's why and that is how to combat septic tank smells okay so problem number two what do you think the next biggest problem in the uk or the world is well let me tell you called blocked soak away that's the second biggest problem that septic tank owners face in the UK so what's a blocked soak away what are the symptoms and more importantly how do you fix it well let's go back to this original workings of the tank so remember you've got all your debris floating around in the septic tank right and there it is it's building up on the bottom there building up here okay over time and so <clears throat> every year or twice a year or three times a year you get your septic tank sucked out by a septic tank emptying foam why not because of the liquid most people lift the lid up of the septic tank and they see that it's three quarters full and they're like oh no we're gonna get a tank empty it's full up with water it's always full up with water <clears throat> no the main reason you get your septic tank emptied or desludged is because of all the fat and the grease and the sludge so the longer you don't empty your septic tank the more and more this fat and the grease and the sludge builds up on the bottom and inside the septic tank okay so it becomes very cloudy and all these bits float around and what happens then is all these bits i suppose they're like cholesterol they're fat grease in the sludge and they also make their way out of the septic tank down here into the soakaway and they block the arteries of the soakaway up now the soakaway does exactly what it says. It allows all the wastewater that comes from your house that goes into the tank to soak away naturally into the soil. But the soakaway consists of loads and loads of pipes, like a herringbone. That's why they call it um, some soakaways a herringbone system because it's got like um, it's shaped like this. So if you were looking down, it's shaped in the shape of a herringbone. So that would lead into the herringbone. And all the water would leave there, come down into the herringbone system, and then would naturally just soak away from there into the soil. So this is like an aerial view I'm showing you here. But what happens, as I said, is all the fat and the grease and the sludge clog all these arteries up here, right? And basically the liquid can't soak away anymore, all right? And once they're all clogged and blocked up, the water then stops there, it can't leave the septic tank anymore, and then it backfills towards the house. So that's the second biggest problem people in the UK face with the septic tanks. Septic tanks 
The soak away of a septic tank typically has, has a lifespan of something like 10, 15 years, depending on how many bedrooms are on the property. So what is the best way to fix a block soak away? Well, some people will get it rodded. But if you think about it, you get your rodding, you get your rods out, you stick them down the pipes there, but the rods will just poke through the fat and the grease and the sludge. They don't do anything. Some septic tank emptying firms will offer the service of jetting, which is firing high powered water down the pipes to try and clear them. Now they charge 150, 250, 350 quid and it's a living for them. But they won't tell you that it's no good, right? It may make you feel better that you had your tank sucked out and you're firing high pressured water into it. But in reality, what it's doing, it's, it's compacting all the fat and the grease and the sludge in the soakway. It doesn't clean it out at all. It just makes the problem worse. It makes the septic tank emptying companies richer and it makes you feel better. But in reality, the soakaway is it, it still won't work. It won't be unblocked because it, it's got nowhere to unblock you. I mean, if there was a hole at the end of the pipes, then fine, you'd flush it out of the hole. But all the soakaway pipes are surrounded by soil. So that fat and the grease and the sludge and all that pressured water has got nowhere to go. And secondly, once you've fired all the high pressured water into the soakaway, it will then pour back into the tank here that's just been emptied and you'll have to pay for them to suck more water out. People wonder where all this water is coming from. Well, it's coming back from the soak away that couldn't soak away. So that is what a blocked soak away is. All right, so a soak away to replace will cost you anywhere from three and a half to six and a half, seven thousand quid to repair. Now, <clears throat> The easiest and most effective solution right, that I've ever seen is something called soak away worms. Now, I used, I've been in the septic tank business for about 20 years. I used to live in a place called Shropshire. And my dad and all the neighbours around him used to have septic tanks obviously but in the septic tanks were worms hundreds if not thousands of these worms something, out, out, something like out of a horror film anyway I never really thought much about any more about that when I left home um, my dad mentioned it to me about I don't know five years ago he said remember all the worms that used to live in our tanks and I said yeah he said well Jason he said people get all these septic tank and soak away problems today we never had any problems Neither did any of the neighbours because the worms ate all the fat and the grease and the sludge. And these worms, right, these worms would live in the septic tank and they'd live in the pipes and they would eat all the fat and the grease. And so I did quite a bit of research into this, right? And I found that in certain places in the UK, these worms naturally occur and people are very fortunate because they never get soak away problems because the worms eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge and so I, I started breeding these worms started breeding them and selling them to people with soak away problems because it really really bothered me and grieved me that people were having to spend three four five six seven eight thousand quid to get their soak aways fixed and the result was incredible. People were e emailing me, thanking me for saving them three, four, five thousand quid. And so I started selling them ever since. So they're soak away worms. The worm, you just get a bucket of the worms, you lift the lid up, you tip them straight into the tank, they get in there. It's a fallacy that worms drown. You can read a lot of misinformation on the internet. It's up to you whether you believe it or not, but I actually... I'm on the front line, I'm on the ground and I see how good the worms are and what they do there. They eat everything. They even eat us when we've gone and dead and gone. You know, they're the cleaners of the earth. And um, just tip a bucket of the soak away worms in, they'll get in and they'll eat all the fat and the grease and the, grease and the sludge. And, then, and, and within, and within um, literally um, three or four weeks, they'll completely unclog and unblock your soak away. Now you'll see certain companies, wormeries selling uh, 
worms that clear soakaways on the internet, on eBay and places like that. They're a load of rubbish. Why am I saying that? Because there's 150 species of worms in this country, right? They'll be selling garden worms or dendrovena worms, stuff like that. They do not unblock septic tanks. Yes, they're about 35 quid. You can buy them, you can shove them in, but they just won't work. There's, there's only one worm out of the whole, whole 150 that actually eats the poo, fat and the grease. And you can get them from my website, septictank.co.uk. Uh, and the point is, yep, they're about 99 quid, they're 149 quid, but they're going to save you three, four, five, six, seven thousand quid. Um, just coming back to that, it's a fallacy about worms drowning. You'll read um, a lot of misinformation on the internet about worms drowning or they can't swim. It's a load of rubbish. If you get a stagnant pond that hasn't got any water coming in, hasn't got any water going out, and it's got no oxygen in, all the life in that pond will die, right? With a septic tank, because you've got in and you've got an out, the fresh water coming in oxygenates the water in the tank, keeps the worms alive, it, whatever else is alive in there, because it's an aerobic process, right? Keeps everything alive, and that's what keeps the worms alive in the soak away in the tank, etc. All right, so that was problem number two. So what do you think the next biggest problem is? Well, this new problem is something that's recently just um, reared its head and it's slapping septic tank owners across the face, right? All the rules and regulations in the UK changed on the 1st of January 2020. And so basically something has come in called the general binding rules. And basically, it's targeting septic tank pollution. Before the 1st of January 2020, septic tanks just discharged straight into the soil or ditches or water courses. And people think, that it just applies to people who whose septic tank um, goes into a river or something. It doesn't. It applies to every single septic tank that's 15 years old or older. So basically now, any septic tank, right? So although this water looks clean on here, in, in reality it's not. It's brown, um, it's got poo, it's got wee, it's got fat, it's got sludge, it's got all kind of horrible things in. And so that poo water, sewage water, right, goes into the soil and soaks away, whether that's through a soak away, or that will go to a watercourse or a ditch or a stream or a brook, something like that. Whether it's going, if your tank's older than 15 years old, right, and it's going into the soil, it's going into a watercourse, it's illegal, full stop. Now, you may not be bothered by that, you may not care, you may think, well, and come and prove it. So what they're doing is this, they're sending around each, it, all the power has now been given to local council, local building control. And they're now sending building control officers to every single septic tank in the country. They'll come in and they'll ask you, they say, when was your septic tank installed? If you say, and give them any date prior to 1995, They'll say, fine, okay, we're going to charge you 450 quid. We're going to um, come and do a site inspection and they'll get an approved contractor to come and do a site inspection. They know the score already, but they'll say, oh, no, 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 your tank's older than 1995. Oh, it's illegal now, mate. And then they'll give you a violation notice, violation order, and you'll have to put a new septic tank and soak away. That's it. No ifs, no buts. Okay. And so there's no way around these rules and regulations unless you make your septic tank legal. So you've got three options at this point, right? You've got three options. Option number one, you can put a new septic tank and soak away in. And that will cost you um, anywhere from like eight to 12,000 quid. That's option number one. Option number two, you can put one of these new sewage treatment systems in that, you know, run on motors and electricity and they've got cogs and bearings and pulleys and stuff in and, and, and they're very, very good. That's option number two. That will cost you anywhere from <coughs> twelve to 15,000 quid. Or 
you could do this. And this is a really, really simple solution to make your septic tank legal, no matter how old it is. You put in, they're called an ecosystem. Um, I'm gonna run out of room here. <laughs> septic tank converter. Now, the Germans came up with an amazing solution. So people didn't have to spend eight or 10 or 12 or 15,000 quid on replacing their old septic tank. So if you've got a septic tank, right, that's uh, 25 years old, 50 years old, 100 years old, this is a really simple and easy and cheap way to make your septic tank legal and get rid of the septic tank inspectors because um, selling your house if you've got a septic tank is a nightmare now because the solicitors are all onto it and they'll say, how old is your septic tank? All right, it was put in before 1995. Well, we want the people I'm representing want to bring your house price down by 10, 15 grand. And that's the workaround. I'm going to save you that money. Right. If you go on Google and just type in ecosystem septic tank converter, this is what it is. It's like a small black box. Government approved. Government love these, right? It's a small black box like so. And, it, and they're designed for the DIY market. It means that you or your builder can put them in in an hour, right? So what happens is um, all the poo and the weed still goes straight into your septic tank. And then, right? Oh, just done that wrong. If I show you this. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And so then what happens is this. It's like a shelf there. So all the poo water will go in and all the sewage water goes into this little black box. They're non-electric, by the way, no electricity or whatever, whatever them. They work via um, bacteria and enzymes. And there's a special like um, shelf a layer inside it. It's a bit thicker than this, but this is giving you, this shows you the principle of how it works. And it converts, it's called a septic tank converter because it converts all the sewage into clean mineral water. And that mineral water then can go straight into the soil. It can carry on going straight into a river, a watercourse, a ditch, a stream. And uh, many people buy these, put them in the fisheries. That's how clean it is. But if you're looking for um, a very simple and cheap and effective way to get around all the new rules and regulations without having to spend 10, 12, 15,000 quid out, then just go on to Google and type in ecosystem septic tank converter. As I said, they're a small black box, a bit bigger than that. They're about three foot by three foot, something like that. But uh, most builders and stuff, you just get someone, if you've got someone, know someone who can, who's got a digger or something like that, they'll get in that, get that in for you, no problem. And because there's no electricity, you just slot the pipe from your tank into there and from the converter straight to your soak away or into the soil, job done. So there you go. I hope that's helped you. So we've looked today at three septic tank problems. We've seen smells, which is caused by cleaning products. Um, just go and buy yourself Ecova, something like that. <coughs> we've seen that you've blocked soak away is because of um, all the fat and the grease and the sludge um block up the soak away just put in go on to google and type in soak away worms um, don't use those rubbishy ones on ebay and other places they're just selling your garden worms and they won't won't work and you'll waste 50 quid right and the third one is you've got three options because all the new rules and regulations have changed if your tank was put in prior to 1995 Option one, you can put a new septic tank and soak away in if you've got the space or you've got the money, which is like, what, eight to 12 grand. You can put a fan-dangled sewage treatment plant in, which will cost you 10 to 15,000 quid. You can lower the price of your house, or you can put one of these ecosystem septic tank converters in, which will save you 10, 12, 13,000 quid, and it'll make your tank legal within one hour. They actually give you a go, with these ecosystem septic tank converters, you get a government certificate, right? which you just hand to the building control officer or um, the solicitor representing the people buying your house and everyone's happy. So listen, I hope that's helped. If you want any more free uh, advice and help, just type in Septic Tank TV on the internet, Septic Tank TV, or you can just go to, let's see if I can get this right here, or just go to, hold on, it's very hard, or go to, uh, there we go, septictank.co.uk. It's like really weird because I got a monitor there and uh, got the little 
neuroseptictank.co.uk logo at the bottom there, but everything's back to front. But listen, thank you very much for watching. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. If you wonder why I'm running, it's because there's a bull after me. This is the septic tank and this is the soak away. I have no actual idea where the septic tank and soak away are. So this is an amazing place. I mean, I get to go on some really fantastic places. Today, we're talking about something that's very, very close to my heart. You know, um, so I just wanted to show you what we... Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. This is really starting to freak me out now. I'm in a wood in the middle of nowhere. It's getting dark. I can't find the septic tank and soak away. And there's someone following me, hiding in between the trees. I mean, I'm absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Come on out. Why are you hiding? And this is what we came up with. A dog poop septic tank. Yeah, that's right. And if you're just joining me, oh man, alive. Yes, I'm live on a site inspection here. Heck. That's really heavy, look at that. That's a really heavy old soak away pipe. So there you can see an outlet pipe. Now that outlet pipe is discharging straight into a water course. Here's a revolutionary new way to dispose of your dog. Something you've always wanted but didn't know existed. It's called the dog poop septic tank and it dissolves dog poop. It comes in two sizes, large and extra large, which is ideal for kennels, for dog clubs, for dog walkers, for rescue centers, and much, much more. So, how does it work? Just remove the lid and put the dog poop into it. Now, as soon as a dog poop lands on the special shelf, organic worms and bacteria start to eat and digest all the solid dog poop. In turn, the worms poop out clean organic liquid fertilizer that drains out and soaks away into your soil. The dog poop septic tank just takes a few minutes to set up. Simply just place the tank onto the ground, dig a very small hole for the soak away pipe and fill the hole with gravel or soil. You can even put your dog poop septic tank on bricks and just put the soak away pipe into a bucket or other container. The extra large dog poop septic tank is ideal for boarding kennels, dog walking parks, rescue centers, playgrounds. It's even designed to go in your own garden. So how does the amazing dog poop septic tank work? Well, just put your dog's poop into the dog poop septic tank and then let nature do the rest. Organic red worms, bacteria and enzymes eat, digest and break down the dog poop like compost. The dog poop is then dissolved and converted into safe, clean organic mineral water that just soaks away into the grass or the soil. The dog poop septic tank means no more mess, no more bins and no more smells. So, if you'd like some more information about this amazing dog poop septic tank, or you'd like to cleanly, organically, naturally and safely dispose of your dog's poop, then just click the link below this video for more information. Or you can visit www.septictank.co.uk. Okay, so you've ordered your dog poop septic tank. It's come, you've unwrapped it, you've put it at the bottom of the garden. What now? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up. 
So the first thing to do is to remove the childproof lid. Now just under the lid here is a button which you need to press and unless you press that this lid is almost impossible to get off but once the button is pressed that's how easy the lid comes off. Now you'll notice that the organic air filter is already pre-assembled and fitted into the lid. Now inside the dog poop septic tank you'll find two main components okay so number one if i can find that here you've got the soak away pipe and i'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute and also inside you've also got the amazing ecosystem which is all in this bucket you've got worms in there you've got bacteria and you've got all the bedding and the food so once we've taken those out literally get the lid and put it back on to the dog poop septic tank there you go that's how easy it is to get the lid on so you can see this bit of kit although it's really sturdy it's strong it's well built and it's easy and simple to use so let me now show you how to connect the soak away pipe okay so here's the soak away pipe and it comes about a meter in length and you can literally cut it down to size to whatever size you want with just a standard saw now the soak away pipe goes into this fitting here so let me just show you how easy it is to connect into that fitting so you just take the pipe with your hand and literally just push it in until it clicks there you go it's as simple as that to connect to the dog poop septic tank so this is what the soak away pipe looks like once it's connected to the dog poop septic tank now the end of it we're now going to slightly bury into the ground so let me show you how easy that is to do just get yourself a trowel and just make a small hole in the soil okay it could be a flower bed could be uh, in the lawn, could be at the edge of the lawn, but literally just make a, a small hole like so. Just needs to be a few inches deep. Take the end of the soak away pipe, put it into the hole like so, okay? Just like that, okay? So it's still there, so there you go. It's bending down nicely into the hole and literally just cover the pipe and surround it with soil. So there you go, that's how easy it is to install the soak away pipe of the dog poop septic tank. So now we're gonna install the ecosystem, the heart and soul of this amazing dog poop septic tank. So with the bucket, just take the lid off. I've already taken it off beforehand because it's, um, again, there's a childproof lock on the lid. But once you've taken the lid off, you'll notice inside the bucket, there's loads of bedding and loads of food for the worms to keep them alive while they're in the bucket. So don't worry about that. Just tip the entire contents into the dog poop septic tank. So there you go, take it in, tip it all in. There you go, and that's done. It's all primed and ready to go. And once you've put the worms into the, oh, and all the bedding and all the food and all the bacteria into the dog poop septic tank, then just take the lid, put the lid on just like that and job done so there you go it's all primed ready to go and up and running so in the next video i'm going to show you just how easy it is to get the dog poop off your lawn off your garden or off your yard and actually put it into the dog poop septic tank All right, Jason here from, let's see if we can get this right, septictank.co.uk. Welcome to another live broadcast. And if you're a dog owner, then you're going to love this broadcast that I'm doing today. So basically, would you like to know of a really simple and easy way to dispose and dissolve, right, dissolve your dog's poop? safely, naturally, naturally and organically. Well, I'm gonna show you. Right, so as it stands, you've normally got a couple of ways, right, to dispose of your dog's poop. Number one, right, what would you normally do? Well, you'd go down the garden, you'd scoop it up 
and you'd maybe put it into a pile, right? At the bottom of the garden, all right? And it just grows and grows and grows. Number two, you may go down the garden and you've got a dog poop bag. You may use a poop bag and then pick it up and then you go and do number three, or you could put it into a bin. Now, some people will just scoop it up and put it into a bin. Some people use a bag and put it into a bin. Either way, right, all of this, right, is smelly, it's hassle, and uh, it's a mess, right? But I'm gonna show you a really simple, easy way to dispose of your dog's poop without having to go through all that rigmarole, right? Yes, you heard me correctly, dispose, dissolve your dog's poop, right? Now, this is something that uh, I've been in the septic tank business for 20 years. And um, a couple of years ago, uh, a guy from Boarding Kennels rang me up. He said, Jason, can you make me a septic tank for dogs? So we thought long and hard about it. And this is what we came up with, a dog poop septic tank yep you're reading me right now how does that look on there is that okay yeah a dog poop septic tank and this is one of the most um people are telling me right people are telling me right this is one of the most fantastic inventions they've ever seen so whether you've got one dog or a hundred dogs i'm going to show you a really simple and easy way right to dispose of your dog's poop and never have to worry about it again never have to get your hands dirty never have to been worried about all that mess or smell have a look at this right so if i just draw right so imagine this is your imagine you've got a boarding kennels imagine you've got a rescue center imagine you've got a do dog walk park right this is the tank that my wife and i came up with right so if I just draw it here, all right, so let me just draw this. So this is a small black tank that discreetly goes in any garden, in any boarding kennel, anywhere. So that's the grass, right? So let me show you how this thing works. All right, so reason I've done this video is because the amount of people are saying to me you know this is a fantastic invention you've made you know you need to educate people and help us to get rid of a dog poop so that's why I'm doing this right so you imagine you've got all your dog poop here so I'm going to put some dog poop here I've got my brown pen especially there we go there's a bit there there's a bit there there's a big bit there, <laughs> a big bit there. All right, so all you need to do, right? All you need to do is get your little scoop, you lift the lid and you drop the poop into the tank. Now, all right, I'll show you what all this bit is in a minute. Right, so this is inside the tank. So the tank itself is about just over three foot in height, three foot in length and about three foot wide, so a really small tank. And it's got a steel cage around it, right? A steel cage all around it, which is, so it's really strong. It's like um, um, black gold, it's a German tank, and it's made from a plastic called black gold. So it's very beautiful looking, looks like a Porsche without the wheels on, but um, just sits discreetly, neatly in the garden. Anyway, you drop the dog poop in, and this is how it works. So all the dog poop will fall onto a special shelf, right, in the tank. So there's your dog poop. All right, and what happens is this. This is the magic of it, right? It's an organic system. So if I just put here, look, so I'm gonna show you how it works, right? It's an organic, organic, natural, natural, uh, uh, system. So that basically means it's like an ecosystem, right? And inside it, inside, you've got worms and bacteria. Now, there's about 150 species of worms in this country, in the UK, right? <clears throat> 
And um, as I said, I've been in the septic tank business for 20 years and we found out that there's one specific type of worm that eats poo, right? Human poo and dog poo. And they're called, the worms themselves, right? Are called organic, organic red worms. I don't know how much room I've got. I've got this of it. Let me put organic red worms, right? And basically, the system's powered by these worms. And in here, if you imagine this bit in here, this is a special shelf, right? And in here, there's like a nest. So if I put nest there, it's a special nest, right? Well, in fact, if I just get that rid of that, but if I put here, look, if I put an arrow going to there, I'll put nest. And there's a special nest in here, a hive, right? And in this nest live, right? Worms, or these organic red worms, like that, all right? And they're very, very happy in this nest. There you go, so they live there. And they come up, and they go into the dog poop, and they eat it all, right? They eat it, right? So to understand how this works, right? Understand how this works. So I'm gonna put some green bits in here as well. These are the bacteria. So you've got this nest, this hive, organic worms and bacteria. So let me just explain really quickly how these worms work, right? So they eat all the dog poop. So if I just quickly show you this, have a look at this, because this is, this is really kind of, so there's a very happy worm. Yeah, he's really happy, right? So they're not that big, obviously, but I'm just showing you, right? So, and here's a bit of poop, right? There's a bit of poop. So they eat the dog poop, right? Now this poop gets digested, they eat it, they digest it, right? And then in turn, right, they poop out water, mineral water. So the worms themselves poop out mineral water water. So why is that important? Well, it's important because of this, right? Just let me rub that out a minute so I can show you why, why that's important. Because the worms eat all the dog poop in the tank, right? And so then they break it down and they in turn poop out mineral water. And the mineral water goes into this sump at the bottom. Right. And with the tank, you get a soak away pipe. Now, there's lots of different tanks on the market, but I'm going to show you what's different, why this is a real septic tank. Right, so this is an above ground tank, and you get like a little pipe that comes with it, right? Just slots in. And it goes, and um, the you get a 90 degree uh, bend in it, and this bit of the pipe just goes an inch, half an inch, two inch into the soil. Right, and you dig a little hole, right, with your trowel or something like that. And what happens is all this mineral water, right, that the worms poop out, goes down here, like that, and it drips, drip, 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 into this little hole that you've made. And then from there, the, the dog poo, which is converted into mineral water, just dissolves. Uh, just de Well, yeah, the dog poop does dissolve, but they convert it into mineral water and the mineral water then just soaks away naturally into the soil. And that's what's so amazing, right, about this dog poop septic tank. All right, so now people ask me lots of questions about the worms, right? So I've told you the name, they're called organic red worms, okay? <coughs> and they live forever in there. And just like you're never concerned about the worms that live in your garden, right? Or your neighbor's garden, you've no need to be worried about the worms in there. Now this tank, right? This particular dog poop septic tank will do one to 35 dogs. And as long as you keep putting poop in, the worms, which are hungry by nature like we are, they'll eat it and they'll poop out. Um, the mineral water. Now, yes, some of the worms will grow old and some of the worms there will die, but the dead worms are naturally 
um, uh, break down into organic compost, right? New worms replace them. Now, some people say, what if you don't use the dog poop septic tank for one, two, three, four, five, six months at a time? Well, this is why it's like an organic ecosystem because the worms just slow down. So let's say there's no food there. Nature's amazing. They just go into a state of hibernation and they slow down. And so the um, more active you are with putting your dog poop in, more active they become. And the less active you, you are, the less active they become. So, you know, this is what I'm saying. You never worry about the worms in nature, do you? And this is like a slice of nature. And the mineral water, so you've got horrible... What about the smells? Yeah, all right, people ask me about the smells. Well, it's made in such a way it's internally vented, right? And because of the special nest and the bacteria and the worms, the smells... Whether it's, it, so let's imagine it, 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 it's summertime, right? And it's really hot and uh, you're worried about the smells all stay in there. And the smells then fumigate and they circulate, they circulate round. So you've got smells from the poo, but because of the worms and the bacteria, it circulates round. And then, so you've got smell in there, but out of here, you get beautiful, clean oxygen comes out, right? So horrible smells in there, circulates the worms and the bacteria, break it down, and they release clean oxygen into the air. And that's it. That's how the amazing dog poop septic tank works. And um, uh, lots of dog walking uh, parks by these. They put one at the start of the gate and one at the end gate there. Um, now, people ask me, will they work with dog poop bags? Yes, they will. Full stop. However, I recommend going for the non-plastic biodegradable bags because look, some of them, let's say you've got a plastic one and you drop it in there, it can take like a month or two months to biodegrade and break down and the worms can't get to the poo inside the bag. But if you use non-plastic uh, 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 dog poop bags, they break down within literally a day or two so the worms can get in there. So. If you're using, um, as I said, lots of normal plastic bags, don't put them in there because it'll just become like a big bin. And this isn't a bin, right? This is not a bin. And, the, and you'll see lots of different doggy poopy kind of bins in there that um, work similar to a septic tank, but they're not a septic tank. A real septic tank has an inlet, the poo and the wee and the hairs or whatever are broken down inside the tank and then you've got an outlet for the waste. Um, a lot of these bins you can buy on Amazon and eBay, that's all that they are. They're just a bin and you put everything into them and they stink and they fest and they rot. And ultimately you've got to take it all out and flip and wash and clean the bin out. There's no maintenance with this whatsoever. All that you need to do once a week or once every two weeks, you just get a bucket of water, you tip it in there. It keeps everything moist, right? It keeps the worms hydrates the worms and that's it so there you go that is the amazing dog poop septic tank so if you'd like to see more information about the dog poop septic tank just go on to google and type type in dog poop septic tank or you can go to www.septictank.co.uk well in fact yeah there you go you've got my um thing there that's my website and on the front page there you'll see um a little dog uh logo just click that and it'll give you loads more information about the dog poop septic tank so there you go if you're a dog owner then this revolutionary um dog poop septic tank will change the way you dispose of your dog's poop so listen thank you very much for watching you take care and i'll speak to you soon If you wonder why I'm running, it's because there's a bull after me. This is the septic tank, and this is the soak away. I have no actual idea where the septic tank and soak away are. So this is an amazing place. I mean, I get to go on some really fantastic places. Today, we're talking about something that's very, very close to my heart. You know, um, so I just wanted to show you what... You oh! Oh! Oh!
Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. This is really starting to freak me out now. I'm in a wood in the middle of nowhere. It's getting dark. I can't find the septic tank and soak away. And there's someone following me, hiding in between the trees. I mean, I'm absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Come on out, why are you hiding? And this is what we came up with. A dog poop septic tank. Yeah, that's right. And if you're just joining me, oh man, alive. Yes, I'm live on a site inspection here. Heck. That's really heavy, look at that. That's a really heavy old soakaway pipe. So there you can see an outlet pipe. Now that outlet pipe is discharging straight into a water course. So, what is a septic tank? Well, let me show you. This is a septic tank, and this is the soakaway. A septic tank is a large holding tank that's buried underground, and they can come in various shapes and sizes. This is what they call an onion tank or a bottle shaped septic tank. Soakaways also come in different shapes and sizes and can be made from various different materials. This particular soakaway is called a herringbone design because it's in the shape of a herringbone and it's sitting on a bed of shingle. So, how does a septic tank and soakaway work? First of all, the septic tank fills up with wastewater from your house. Then, the wastewater makes its way from the septic tank into the outlet pipe and from the outlet pipe the wastewater then makes its way into the arteries of the soakaway and soaks away into the shingle bed below it from there the wastewater naturally drains away into the soil so there you have it that was simple wasn't it that's how a septic tank and soakaway work to see more free videos or to learn more, then just click the link below this video. This is a septic tank and this is the soakaway. Wastewater enters the septic tank and from there, the wastewater then makes its way into the outlet pipe. And from the outlet pipe, it makes its way into the soakaway pipes. And from the soakaway pipes, the wastewater soaks away into the gravel. So why do you need to empty your septic tank? Now, this is the main reason septic tanks develop problems. It's because of the fat grease and the sludge. Over time, fat grease and sludge builds up in the septic tank. And if it isn't sucked out quick enough, the fat and the grease and the sludge will make its way from the septic tank through the outlet pipe and then into the soakaway pipes, blocking up the entire septic tank and soakaway system. So, how often should you empty your septic tank? So, to prevent septic tank and soakaway problems, it's recommended that you get your septic tank emptied at least two or three times a year. Yes, it's going to cost you two or three hundred pounds a time to get it emptied, but that's far cheaper than having to fork out thousands of pounds to replace your septic tank and soakaway because they've become blocked up with fat, grease and sludge. However, there is another amazing option which you might not have considered. Soakaway worms are an incredible safe, clean, natural and organic solution. Worms have been around for thousands of years, breaking down and converting waste into safe, clean, organic matter. Soakaway worms will not only unblock your soakaway from all the fat and the grease and the sludge, but they'll also keep it clean, preventing your septic tank and soakaway from ever developing problems again. 
Sukaway worms come in a large bucket. Simply take the lid off the bucket and tip the entire contents into the septic tank. The worms will then sink to the bottom of the tank, landing on top of the sludge. And very quickly, these worms will adjust to their new surroundings and will start burrowing and working their way into the fat and the grease and the sludge and they'll start breeding and multiplying. Now, from there, these worms will make their way deep into the main arteries of the soakaway, reaching into all the nooks and the crannies and the areas that rotting and jetting just cannot get to. As the worms eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge, they'll start cleaning and unblocking the sludge and the waste from the soakaway pipes, allowing the wastewater in the soakaway pipes to start flowing freely once again, enabling it to drain away naturally through the soakaway and into the topsoil. Silkaway worms will also save you hundreds of pounds in septic tank emptying costs. Because they eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge in the septic tank, you never need to get it emptied again because there's no sludge left to suck out. Silkaway worms unblock soakaways. Silkaway worms prevent blockages from ever occurring again. Soakaway worms will save you thousands in repairs and septic tank emptying costs. Soakaway worms are easy to install and are a one off treatment. Soakaway worms also come with a lifetime guarantee. But that's not all. With each bucket, we're also giving away an expensive free bonus gift. It's called Septic Tank Fertilizer. Now, if you've never heard of Septic Tank Fertilizer, it's one of my best-selling products and it's designed to protect your septic tank from the harmful effects of cleaning products. It also removes smells and revives dead sewage systems. Now, one year's treatment of this amazing bacterial product normally costs £149, but today you can have it for free with a bucket of worms. So how does septic tank fertilizer work? Well in each of the 12 water soluble sachets there are billions of organic bacteria and enzymes which remove smells, revive dead systems and prevent 99% of all septic tank problems. So how do you get septic tank fertilizer into your septic tank? Well, it's really, really easy. Simply drop one of the water soluble sachets into the toilet and let it dissolve, which generally takes about 30 seconds. As it dissolves, it will release billions of organic bacteria and enzymes into the water. Once it's dissolved, then simply just flush the loo. The organic bacteria will then leave the toilet and start making their way down the pipes that lead to the septic tank. And as that bacteria travels through the pipes, it will remove the germs and clean them as it goes. Once they enter the septic tank, the billions of organic bacteria and enzymes instantly get to work, removing smells and protecting your septic tank from the harmful effects of cleaning products. For your chance to win a free 200 pound bucket of these amazing organic red soakaway worms, then just subscribe to my Septic Tank TV channel on YouTube now. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice. Hello, Jason here from Septic Tank TV and in today's live broadcast I'm going to answer the following questions and they are what is a percolation test, why do you need a percolation test and how do you carry out a percolation test? Good questions, so I'm going to answer those questions in the following video. So what is a percolation test? Well, a percolation test determines if the ground is suitable for a soak away or not, and that the wastewater that 
enters the soak away from the septic tank can drain away naturally into the soil. Now, some examples of soil with good percolation characteristics would be soil such as chalky soil, sandy soil or loamy soil. So how do you carry out a percolation test? Well, you need to first of all work out where you're going to install your septic tank. Then work out where the outlet pipe will be. Once you've done that, you then need to dig a hole 300 millimeters square to a depth of 300 millimeters below the level of the outlet pipe. Then fill the 300 millimeter square section of the hole to a depth of at least 300 millimeters of water and allow it to seep away overnight. Next day, refill the hole once again with water to a depth of at least 300 meters and then observe the time in seconds that it takes for the water to seep away from 75% full to 25% full. So that's roughly um, a fall of about 150 millimeters. So how do you calculate the percolation rate? It's really easy. You take the time it took in seconds for the water to fall, 150 millimeters. Then you just divide this time by 150. And this result will give you a VP figure. So for example, let's say it took 98 seconds for your water in the soak away hole to fall 150 mil. Then you just divide this time by 150 and that gives you a VP figure of 65 seconds, which is brilliant because a VP figure between 12 and 100 is ideal. Okay, so now you know what a percolation test is. You know why you need a percolation test and you know how to carry out a percolation test. So thank you very much for watching this live broadcast today. If you'd like to see more of me on Septic Tank TV and more of your Septic Tank questions answered, then just click the link below this video. That's right, just scroll up the page, that's right, and click the link and you can see more videos free videos that will answer your questions and also you'll see a big red subscribe button if you subscribe to my tv channel you're in for a chance right to win a free bucket mega bucket of septic tank soak away worms and that means you'll never ever have to get your septic tank emptied again because the worms eat all the fat and the grease and the sludge so listen thank you so much for watching this live broadcast today as i said if you want to see more of me, just click the link below this video. And if you'd like to win, a chance to win a free bucket, 300 quid bucket of Soko Worms, then just subscribe to my channel, Septic Tank TV. All you need to do is click the link below this video. If you wonder why I'm running, it's because there's a bull after me. This is the septic tank, and this is the soak away. I have no actual idea where the septic tank and soak away are. So this is an amazing place. I mean, I get to go on some really fantastic places. Today, we're talking about something that's very, very close to my heart. You know, um, so I just wanted to show you what. <laughs> Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. This is really starting to freak me out now. I'm in a wood in the middle of nowhere. It's getting dark. I can't find the septic tank and soak away. And there's someone following me, hiding in between the trees. I mean, I'm absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Come on out, why are you hiding? And this is what we came up with. A dog poop septic tank. Yeah, that's right. And if you're just joining me, oh man, alive. Yes, I'm live on a site inspection here. Heck. That's really heavy, look at that. That's a really heavy old soak away pipe. So there you can see an outlet pipe. Now that outlet pipe is discharging straight into a water course.
Hello, Jason here. On the 1st of January 2020, the laws governing septic tanks changed, making 90% of septic tanks in England, Wales and Scotland illegal. In the next three minutes, I will explain what all these new laws are and how they will affect you. I'll also show you how to make your old septic tank legal without having to spend out thousands of pounds replacing it. But first, let me explain why the government have introduced these new septic tank laws. In a bid to reduce the pollution risk from septic tanks, in 2020, the government introduced new laws for septic tank owners called the Pollution Act for Septic Tanks. So what are these new laws? What it means is that any septic tank that is found to leak, smell, pollute the soil or a watercourse or does not have an EN12566-1 certificate will now be illegal. So how will these new laws affect you? Well, starting this year, government site inspectors will visit all septic tank owners across the UK to inspect their septic tank. And based on their findings, your septic tank will either pass or fail. Now, recent reports show that 90% of septic tanks in England, Wales and Scotland are now illegal. So if you suspect your septic tank will fail or maybe it has failed a government site inspection and you've received a violation notice and your septic tank is now illegal, what are your options? How can you make your septic tank legal? Option one, once you've been served a government enforcement order, you'll then be required to install a new septic tank and soak away that has a government EN12566-1 certification. Now, this option will cost you around eight to £12,000. On top of that, you'll also need retrospective planning approval and you will not be able to sell your house until the new system is installed. Option two, some government enforcement orders will require that you must install an electric sewage treatment plant that has a government EN12566-3 certification. Now, this option will cost you around ten to £15,000. And once again, you'll also need retrospective planning approval. And you won't be able to sell your house until your new sewage system is installed. Or you could choose option three. The good news is that there's a really simple and easy way to make your old septic tank legal without having to spend thousands of pounds in replacement costs. All you need is the amazing ecosystem septic tank converter. The ecosystem is a small black box that's powered by nature, not electricity, and will turn your old septic tank into a fully legal, government-approved system. So, how does the ecosystem septic tank converter work? Well, the ecosystem is 100% organic. Inside, organic bacteria and enzymes break the sewage waste down like a compost heap into safe, clean mineral water. So, how do you install the ecosystem? Well, the ecosystem works with all septic tanks and is very easy to install. Just dig a small hole and connect the ecosystem to your old septic tank. Job done! It really is that easy. So, how much does the amazing ecosystem septic tank converter cost? Well, it's £12,000 cheaper than having to replace your old septic tank. And for a limited time, you can now get the amazing ecosystem septic tank converter for only three nine nine nine. But you know what? I want to make this offer even better for you. For the next few days, you can now save an extra £1,000 off the normal price, which means the amazing ecosystem septic tank converter is now only £2,999. That's a thousand pounds off the normal price which means you can now make your old septic tank legal for even less. But just a word of warning, I only have a handful of units left at this price so once the stock's gone and it's going fast, this offer will end. 
So, if you want to make your old septic tank legal and compliant without having to spend 10 or 15,000 pounds or more in replacement costs, and you'd like to make your septic tank smell free, pollution free, and safe for your family and the environment, then get your amazing ecosystem septic tank converter today. To order yours, just click the Order Now button below this video. Hello, Jason here. So here are two houses connected to the same septic tank system. And in this instance, the septic tank is in the garden of the first house. And sewage and wastewater from both properties make their way down through pipes in the garden and then enter the septic tank in the garden of the first house. The wastewater then leaves the septic tank and is discharged into a soak away. So this is typically the basic setup of how a septic tank and soak away look and how they work. So what are the problems of being on a shared septic tank system? Well, basically it means that the landowner can dictate all the terms and conditions and this can cause many problems. For example, if they decide to get their septic tank emptied regularly, or maybe they want to carry out repair work or maintenance work, maybe they want to get it serviced, or maybe they even want to replace the entire septic tank and soak away system, then whatever they decide to do, as often as they want to do it, you're legally obliged to pay 50% of those costs. And there's many, many challenges with this arrangement of being on a shared system. For example, it could cause you to fall out with your neighbors. It can result in stress, anxiety. It can even result in court and legal battles. But here's the good news. I've made this video because I wanna show you a really easy solution about how you can not only solve this problem, right, and save yourself thousands in unnecessary costs, but I'm also gonna show you how you can put an end to all that stress and anxiety. It's really simple, and it'll take you and your builder just a few hours to do. Have a look at this. All you need is a septic tank and soak away kit. It really is that easy. First, dig a trench to the proposed location of where you'd like to put your septic tank. Then just dig the hole for the septic tank and then just dig the hole for the soak away. Next, insert the pipe into the trench that leads to the septic tank. Once you've done that, just insert the septic tank into the hole. I love these low profile septic tanks because they only take about 40 minutes to dig the hole and get into the ground. And on top of that, they don't need any concrete. Next, just insert the German inspection chamber. It just clunk clicks together. Then all you need to do is install the German aqua cells. They just slot together to create an aquifer or soak away for your septic tank. Once you've done that, connect a pipe from the German inspection chamber into the aquacells and then just cover everything over with the German aqua gores. You know, I really love these German soak away products because not only are they easy to install, but they also come with a 20 ton bearing load, which means they don't collapse and can be driven over. Once you've installed everything, simply cover over with soil. Last thing to do is just disconnect your pipe that goes to your neighbor's septic tank. Job done. You're now cut off from your neighbor's septic tank. They've got theirs and you've got your very own septic tank. No more problems, no more stress. For more information on these amazing septic tank and soak away kits, go to septictank.co.uk, click on the septic tank and soak away kit image, and it'll bring up a host of various septic tank and soak away kits that will cater for the number of bedrooms your property has. All you need to do is click the link below this video. If you wonder why I'm running, it's because there's a bull after me. This is the septic tank, and this is the soak away. I have no actual idea where the septic tank and soak away are. So this is an amazing place. I mean, 
I get to go on some really fantastic places. Today, we're talking about something that's very, very close to my heart. You know, um, so I just wanted to show you what... Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. This is really starting to freak me out now. I'm in a wood in the middle of nowhere. It's getting dark. I can't find the septic tank and soak away. And there's someone following me, hiding in between the trees. I mean, I'm absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Come on out. Why are you hiding? And this is what we came up with. A dog poop septic tank. Yeah, that's right. And if you're just joining me, oh man, alive. Yes, I'm live on a site inspection here. Heck, that's really heavy, look at that. That's a really heavy old soak away pipe. So there you can see an outlet pipe. Now that outlet pipe is discharging straight into a water course. All right, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. Just an incredible sight behind me. And so you see all those houses behind me, right? See all those houses? Let me just show you what we've got here. We've got amazing blue sea, right? And if I just turn the camera around here, you'll see that there's loads of houses on top of the hill behind me. So why am I showing you a load of houses on a hill? in a beautiful idyllic place because they're all on septic tanks and on the 1st of January 2020 all those properties that I've just shown you will all be affected by the new rules and regulations regarding septic tanks that come into force soon so many of them will be spending 15 20 25,000 quid to replace their systems others will just ignore it and hope the uh, the new rules and regulations go away but listen the government inspectors are coming whether we like it or not but the point i made this uh, live broadcast now is because there's some good news in all this you can make your septic tank legal easily and for free all you need is a government compliance form for septic tanks a government compliance form for septic tanks and you can download one for free from septictank.co.uk. That's right, you can get them for free. Download, download it, print off as many copies as you want. Put uh, Lodge One with your solicitor, put one in your utility room or your uh, kitchen, wherever. Have it on display and it'll save you thousands of thousands of pounds, especially if you come to sell your property. So if you want to make your septic tank legal, all you need is a government compliance form and you can get one free from septictank.co.uk. Hello, Jason here from Septic Tank TV and welcome to another live broadcast. All right. So in today's live broadcast, I'm going to be answering the question, what is a three chamber septic tank? So what is a three chamber septic tank, right? And how does a three chamber septic tank work? Well, let me show you. All right. So this green line here is the grass and you've got three lids all right so now if i number put a number above each lid each number there represents a chamber all right so maybe you've owned a septic tank with one chamber maybe you've owned a septic tank with two chambers and maybe if you're lucky enough right you own or have owned a three chamber septic tank now What's unusual about a two or three chamber septic tank is this. Most septic tanks, especially today, have only got one chamber, all right? But go back 50, 60 years ago, and most septic tanks had two or three chambers. All right, so that is what a three chamber septic tank is. It's basically um, a concrete, or a brick built 
underground tank and inside it, it has got brick or concrete or breeze block partitions all right so it would have been one big tank and then they just divide it into two or three sections so that's what um a three chamber septic tank is so how does a three chamber septic tank work well let me show you so here we've got the inlet so this inlet pipe here is uh, connected to your house right so you go to the loo you use your washing machine uh, you flush your loo, you have a shower, you have a bath, and all the wastewater will come down this pipe, all right? And then it empties into the first chamber here, all right? So there you go. So that is <laughs> the first chamber full of water. Now, wastewater, unfortunately, doesn't just contain water. There's other debris in wastewater all right so after you've been for a number two or maybe you've um, pulled the plug out of the sink there's lots of debris in that water potato peelings you know fat grease and sludge and all that fat and grease and the sludge right is floating around in the water so when the wastewater leaves your house and empties the septic tank here you've got all this debris right that lives and floats in the water. Now this debris is called suspended solids. I suppose if you looked at it, if you lift the lid off and looked in the first chamber, it would be like lots of little small jellyfish floating around, all right? And to begin with, every time you have a new influx of water into here, everything floats around, but over time, you get quite a bit of this debris will settle on the bottom of your septic tank in the first chamber. And over time, it will build up, all right? All this debris will build up. Then at the top here, on top of the water, you'll get other bits of debris floating about. Fat, grease, sludge, poo, uh, condoms, sanitary towels, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot going on, right, in the first chamber. Now, you're probably wondering what these funny things are here. Well, I should have put one actually on here as well. All right, now these, right, are called T pieces. And basically what they do is they stop, they let in all the debris, all the suspended solids, and they stop it going on any further. So let me explain what I mean. So the wastewater will fill up in the first chamber with all the debris and stuff. And then when it reaches this level here, this water, so when you get a relative displacement come in now, this will always stay at this level, right? It'll stay, so the tide mark is about there. So this water will always stay at that level, okay? So when you put more water in, it'll pour into here, and then it will overflow into the second chamber. All right, so then this chamber also will fill up with water, all right, to this level. So this is the tide mark in the second chamber. Now, because much of the debris is kept and held in the first chamber, some of the suspended solids will still come through from the first chamber into the second chamber, but there'll be a lot less of them, okay? So the particles will be smaller, M much of the stuff will float about in the tank. And again, a lot of the debris will fall in time, settle or fall to the bottom of the septic tank, but there'll be nowhere as much debris or waste in the second chamber as there were, was in the first chamber. So this, you can start to see how these two and three chamber septic tanks work. They're basically like a filtration system. They filter out all the particles, right, and clean the water. And um, I've never seen a four-chamber septic tank. I see a lot of two-chamber septic tanks, and occasionally I do come across a three-chamber septic tank. So if you've got a three-chamber septic tank or a two-chamber two septic tank, don't ever change it. Don't ever change or replace your old septic tank 
for a new one unless it's you know collapsed or imploded or something because these are the best septic tanks ever made all right so once all the debris then entered the second chamber again here's our tide mark so you get another relative uh, you get another influx of water coming in then you get a relative displacement it'll leave here it'll fill in there and then from here once again it will fill up okay in the third chamber and in the third chamber you'll have even less debris smaller particles and again the turbulence in the second and third chamber is nowhere near as great as the first one and again you will get some settlement on the bottom so you get some silt there falling to the bottom of the tank but you can see for, by the time it's left the first chamber gone into the second and gone into the third the wastewater in that chamber is a lot cleaner right so why does this matter why why even bother why filter out many of the suspended solids and the particles because if you look here the outlet from the first third chamber goes to a soak away now soak aways typically only have a lifespan of about 15 years why because right in modern tanks they don't have this filtration system so all the debris goes into the main tank pretend this is one whole time and it then goes from there into the soak away and a soak away basically is made up from lots of pipes with holes in and the wastewater goes into those holes in the soak away and then soaks away into the soil but all the fat and the grease and the sludge if it escapes and leaves the septic tank will go into the soak away and block your soak away up so just like when you eat lots and lots of unhealthy fatty food it clogs your arteries up this debris this fat this grease and the sludge clogs the arteries of your soak away up so they devise this two and three chamber septic tank system right to extend the life of the soak away and they work they're fantastic now <clears throat> many people when they lift the lids of their septic tank they see that the tide mark or the water line is quite near the surface and they think oh no the septic tank's full up with water let's get it empty but that's that's a misnomer right septic tanks are always three quarters full of liquid that's just how they're made right but you never ever get your septic tank empty because it's full up with water the only reason you get your septic tank desludged or emptied once a year is because the buildup of the debris so oh so imagine this kind of debris field that you're seeing there right and the settlement that i'm showing you let's pretend that's a month's worth of, of, of worth of debris that's gone through the tank right after six months it will probably look like well not probably it will look like that right so you can see that it's starting to rise right so that's typically what it would look like after six months after 12 months right all the fat and the grease and the sludge and all the debris would probably reach at least at least a quarter of the height of the tank and so the more suspended solids in your tank the more it builds up the more debris that can come loose and block your soak away up so it's quite important to get your septic tank desludged right at least every six months at least every 12 months people don't bother because it costs like two three hundred quid a time to get it sucked out <coughs> okay but you know if you consider that with having to fork out five six seven grand to replace your soak away paying out 200 quid just to maintain you know your septic tank and keep it healthy and keep the extend their life of the soak away it's you know relatively a small price to pay in comparison to having to fork out all that money to replace your septic tank now one more thing i was going to say to you with all this fat and the grease and the sludge in there right it will also um, oh yeah when they come to empty the system a lot of septic tank emptying people they will only open or lift the lid of the third chamber why because it's mostly water and they can suck out that bit of sludge if you're lucky they will also open or lift the 
the, the, the lid of the second chamber and suck, take, suck that sludge out. But I had a guy ringing me, um, ring me last week, and, and this is typical of everyone with a septic tank, right, with three chambers. 99% of septic tank emptying people will not empty the first tank because if you haven't had your tank emptied for like flaming hell, five years, 10 years or whatever, and, and it's full up or at least half full with sludge, sludge, right, to septic tank emptying companies is a nightmare for them to suck out. It takes them five, six, seven times longer to suck your septic tank out than it would if it was just water because it's almost like a thick, thick milkshake. So they put their hose in, they put the hose in, they lift the lid, put the hose in here, right? So I say, there's the hose coming from the, uh, coming from the tank. It comes in and it goes into the sludge here, right? But because it's so gooey, because it's so thick, they have to flipping get a stick and mulch it up and stir it round and spray water in there. So they're still only getting 200 quid to suck the sludge out of your septic tank, right? But it's taking them three or four hours instead of half an hour just to suck the water out. So that's a tip. If you've got a two or three chamber septic tank, make sure they empty the first tank first, right? The second one second and the third one third most of them will probably complain and won't want to do it or they'll charge you if they've been three four five hundred quid to do it but it won't be full up with sludge if you get it emptied every six months so so there you go that's my septic tank tip for the day right if you've got a two or three chamber septic tank system keep it don't replace it right if you, you when you get your septic tank emptied make sure the septic tank emptying firm always empty from the first chamber then to the second and then the third so there you go now you know what a three chamber septic tank is you also know how a three chamber septic tank works so listen thank you very much for watching my live broadcast today you take care and if you want to see more of me then just go on to google and type in septic tank tv all right well listen you take care and i'll speak to you soon If you wonder why I'm running, it's because there's a bull after me. This is the septic tank, and this is the soak away. I have no actual idea where the septic tank and soak away are. So this is an amazing place. I mean, I get to go on some really fantastic places. Today, we're talking about something that's very, very close to my heart. You know, um, so I just wanted to show you what. Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. This is really starting to freak me out now. I'm in a wood in the middle of nowhere. It's getting dark. I can't find the septic tank and soak away. And there's someone following me, hiding in between the trees. I mean, I'm absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Come on out. Why are you hiding? And this is what we came up with. A dog poop septic tank. Yeah, that's right. And if you're just joining me, oh man, alive. Yes, I'm live on a site inspection here. Heck. That's really heavy, look at that. That's a really heavy old soak away pipe. So there you can see an outlet pipe. Now that outlet pipe is discharging straight into a water course. The good news is that there's a really simple and easy way to make your old septic tank legal without having to spend thousands of pounds in replacement costs. All you need is the amazing ecosystem septic tank converter.
The ecosystem is a small black box that's powered by nature, not electricity, and will turn your old septic tank into a fully legal, government-approved system. So, how does the ecosystem septic tank converter work? Well, the ecosystem is 100% organic. Inside, organic bacteria and enzymes break the sewage waste down like a compost heap into safe, clean mineral water. So, how do you install the ecosystem? Well, the ecosystem works with all septic tanks and is very easy to install. Just dig a small hole and connect the ecosystem to your old septic tank. Job done! It really is that easy. So, how much does the amazing ecosystem septic tank converter cost? Well, it's £12,000 cheaper than having to replace your old septic tank. And for a limited time, you can now get the amazing ecosystem septic tank converter for only 3999 But you know what? I want to make this offer even better for you. For the next few days, you can now save an extra £1,000 off the normal price, which means the amazing ecosystem septic tank converter is now only £2,999. That's a thousand pounds off the normal price which means you can now make your old septic tank legal for even less but just a word of warning i only have a handful of units left at this price so once the stock's gone and it's going fast this offer will end so, if you want to make your old septic tank legal and compliant without having to spend 10 or 15,000 pounds or more in replacement costs, and you'd like to make your septic tank smell free, pollution free, and safe for your family and the environment, then get your amazing ecosystem septic tank converter today. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice. All right, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. So what is septic tank conversion? If you're a septic tank owner, why is this video important to you? Why should you watch it? Should you care? Well, the simple answer is yes. If you're a septic tank owner, and this is probably one of the most important videos you're going to watch this year, basically all the rules and regulations changed, right, on the 1st of January 2020. And basically now 90% of septic tanks across the UK are illegal. So that is where septic tank conversion comes in. So you may never have heard of septic tank conversion. You may not know what it is. Well, I'm going to show you. And how will that benefit you? Well, it will save you thousands and thousands of pounds. How so? Well, basically, as I said, all the rules and regulations changed. And typically, this before the rules and regulations changed, this is how... 100% of septic tanks or 99.9% .9 of septic tanks across the UK worked. So the wastewater would come in from your property into the septic tank. So I'll just put, look, waste water there. So that wastewater comes from your property. So it's your bath, your sink, your shower, um, man alive, your, your B-Day washing machine, dishwasher, everything. Your wastewater would leave your property and come into your septic tank. It would then fill up, all right? It fills up with wastewater. And um, in reality, the wastewater isn't blue. It's more browny colored, right? So if I put a bit of brown in there, you can now see what's happening. So this brown water would fill up your septic tank. And from there, once the wastewater reached the height of the outlet pipe it would make its way out through there and then it would go either into a stream a water course or it would go straight into the soil and over time at the bottom of the septic tank bits and bobs and debris fat grease sludge poo and all that kind of stuff falls to the bottom of the septic tank so that is basically how a septic tank works and up to um, two months ago that's pretty much what all septic tanks across the UK did. Now, when the rules and regulations changed 
on the 1st of January 2020, basically the British government said, right, that's it, right? We don't want septic tanks polluting watercourses or the soil anymore. So the discharge, right, the discharge, so if you haven't got a river or a stream or a ditch by you, this rule, this new, these new laws and regulations still apply to you. So if, you, if your septic tank is polluting the soil or a watercourse, basically it is now illegal. Right, you can't do it anymore. So who determines then, who determines whether your septic tank is legal or illegal? Well, the British government have handed all the power to local council, local authorities, and they are now sending round government site inspectors, and they will come to visit your property, they'll ask you certain questions about your septic tank, and they will want to inspect your septic tank. They will charge you £450 to inspect your septic tank. Why do I say that 90% of septic tanks are illegal? Because 90% of septic tanks were installed prior to 1995. And if your septic tank, right, was installed before 1995, and it does not have an EN12566-3 certification, then your tank will also become illegal. So if your septic tank is going into a water course and your government inspector sees that, it's illegal. He'll then give you a violation notice, right? Forcing you to stop using your septic tank there and then you'll have to um, cut it off, block it up, whatever, and just get it emptied and replace your septic tank and your soak away. Now, that will cost you anywhere from eight to 12,000 pounds, okay? If your septic tank is leaking, all right, it's, it, it's come, the sewage effluent is rising to the surface, right? If it's rising to here, to the ground, right? If it's blocked, if it smells, right? If it uh, isn't big enough for the number of bedrooms it's got, it will be illegal. Government inspectors will make you stop, they will then get an approved contractor around to come and give you a quote. That will cost you eight to twelve thousand pounds. Now, if your septic tank, if the basically the government inspectors can cut straight to the chase because they'll come around and they'll say to you, um, when was your septic tank installed? You'll say, um, I don't know, 1983, 1973, 1991. They'll say, fine, can we see? Um, your EN12566-3 certificate, please. And you'll say, well, what is that? Um, and you'll have a look in your septic tank emptying receipts. And of course, you ain't going to find it there. It's just going to tell you when it was emptied and how much was taken out. So of course, you're going to say, well, I haven't got one. And he'll say, okay, uh, um, based on the new rules and regulations, your septic tank is now illegal. And again, he will then charge you 450 quid to get an approved contractor to come and do a site inspection and inspect your septic tank, which they know is illegal, but just going through the formalities of giving you the legal paperwork and stuff, they'll say your septic tank and soak away are illegal. And so based on that, how much room have I got here? They will then determine whether you go for a septic tank or soak away, or you have to put a sewage treatment plant in. Anyway, it's gonna cost you anywhere between eight to 15,000 pounds, right? To fix this situation, to make your septic tank legal. Now, I'm getting loads and loads of people ringing me up every week, pulling their hair out cross because of these new rules and regulations, because you may think, well, stuff it, I'll just wait till the septic tank inspector comes around. That's fine, you can do that. But it first comes to light when you sell your house. Two things will happen first. The septic tank inspector will come round to your house first and then all this will just unfold and you'll have to go through the motions and replace your system. Or when you come to sell your property, the solicitors representing the people buying your house will say, um, have you got an EN12566-3 certificate? Uh, mm, no. Okay, well, listen, no problem. But what my clients would like to do is drop your house price by 10, uh, eight to 15,000 quid so they can put a new system in and job done. 
So these are the complications and the problems that have arisen since all the new rules and regulations changed on the 1st of Jan 2020. So what's the good news? Well, the good news is I'm going to show you how to make your septic tank legal, right? I'm going to show you how to make your septic tank legal. I'm going to show you how to easily get an EN125-3 certification. I'm going to show you how to save eight to 15,000 quid. Right, so watch this. All right, so I'm just going to rub all this out for a minute and we're going to leave that there. We're going to leave all that there and just going to get that and rub that out. So rewind. So again, we're going back to your existing septic tank. So this is your existing septic tank. Now it may be made of concrete. It may be an onion shaped septic tank. It may be any kind of septic tank. It could have been put in three or 400 years ago. It really doesn't matter because I'm gonna show you, right? I'm gonna show you right now how to make your septic tank legal in one hour. That's right, one hour, one hour. All right, so all you need is a septic tank converter. Now, let me show you typically what a septic tank converter is. A septic tank converter is a small black box. It's a small black box. It's a government approved small black box that's made in Germany. Now, um, I did some research before I came on here and I'll tell you a bit more about that black box, but the black box is a small black box. Okay, so something like that in size, okay? And so what happens is this, if I just put the grass back on top, right? These black boxes have been designed by the government to make old septic tanks legal. And I'm gonna show you how it works in a minute, all right? So there's two components to it. You've got that little bit and you've got that little bit there, all right? Now these, these um, uh, septic tank converters are non-electric so they don't need any power they don't need any electric or anything so how they work is this right all your wastewater will still leave your property it'll still go into your septic tank and it'll still come out but you get your builder or you get a digger just dig a small hole right put one of these government black boxes in all the wastewater and everything will come into it and it'll go into it. But the amazing thing is, right, um, these small black boxes, they're basically like a composter. So they're full of enzymes and bacteria. And what they do, they convert. That's why it's called septic tank conversion, right? They convert all that poor, stinky, pooey, messy, illegal stuff, right? They convert it into safe, clean mineral water. Can you believe that, right? And so what happens is, once the poo and the wee and all that horrible stuff's passed through it, it then converts all that stuff into beautiful, clean, safe mineral water that can then discharge directly into the soil or a water course. And so that is what it means to get your septic tank converted. Now there's lots of different conversions on the internet that, call it, that run on electricity and they've got motors and cogs and bearings and all, but 99.9% .9 of them do not come with this. And this is very, very important. Your government converter, so if I put here, look, so if I put septic tank converter here, right? And then I'll do an arrow, all right? So that's the septic tank converter. Can you see that on there? Yeah, we can see. Now, the government, these small boxes, black boxes I'm talking about must come with an EN12566-3 certification. It's a government certification that says it's been built or manufactured in accordance with the government's wishes and it works um, to convert sewage waste into lovely, clean water. So, so it takes about an hour to put this septic tank converter in. And more importantly, you get this government certification with it. So when the solicitors ring contact you, regard, you know, and representing the people buying your property, they'll say, okay, what system have you got? And you don't have to tell them your septic tank's 100 years old or 50 years old or it's made from concrete or this or that. You say, yeah, um, we've just um, modified our system, got a, got a government approved system in now. Here's your EN125-3 certification, brilliant. The government inspectors will come round to your house. They'll say, OK, 
okay, um, how you doing? Um, we just come to inspect your septic tank. Say, no problem. Uh, just to let you know, we've just put a government approved system in. All right, yeah. Yeah, here's the government certificate. He'll see the EN12566-3 certification. He'll be like, wow, thanks a lot. See you, mate. And go on to your neighbors who I bet won't have one of these. So that basically is what septic tank conversion is all about. And this is the septic tank converter. Now, if you're asking me the name of this septic tank converter, uh, one of the most popular ones being promoted by the government at the moment is something called, uh, it's called an ecosystem, ecosystem septic tank converter. That's what they're called, right? Now, they're made by a firm in Germany who've been making them, for oh, man alive, for many, many years now. Um, and the firm that manufactures, they, you know, they're the VW equivalent of what VW are for cars. This German firm is the equivalent of what septic tank converter units are um, for sewage waste. So it's called, um, yeah, an ecosystem septic tank converter. Yeah, that's right. And why they're so good is, right, because as I said, right, if you haven't got a septic tank converter and you're selling your house and the government inspectors are coming around, you just put one of these in because they've got, you don't need any special knowledge with it. And, and, and you just get a dig. It takes 40 minutes to flip and dig the hole. You plonk it in. This is standard four inch pipe in, just slots into it straight from your septic tank, standard four inch out. And that mineral water, that clean, clean mineral water can go anywhere. Mineral water water right um i'll give you some examples some people put a little pump here and pump it onto their roses some people put it straight into a stream some people just let it go straight into the soil it doesn't matter because it's clean so if, if your septic tank smells or it's leaking and you're worried about pollution risks or diseases and stuff because you've got families and stuff if you put one of these in it's just going to put out mineral water how does it work well a little bit more about that it's like a little composter inside. It's got special bio matting. It's got like a little hive inside. And so all the poo and the wee and the sewage go into there. And the bacteria and the enzymes eat it and process it, right? And in turn, convert it into, as I said, mineral water. These small black boxes, as I said, take one hour to install. And typically they'll do up to six, seven or eight bedrooms. So anyway, so there you go. If you're a septic tank owner, I seriously, seriously consider you research this, right? If you want to save eight, 10, 12, 13,000 quid and not have to replace your septic tank, then seriously, have a little, do a little bit of research onto septic tank conversion and septic tank converters. Why have I mentioned the ecosystem septic tank converter? Because I know I've been, you know, this is the future, anything, that doesn't run on electricity or have moving parts like motors, cogs, gears, pulleys, shafts and all that and convert and doesn't break down and comes with a lifetime guarantee and doesn't smell and is approved by the government is a no-brainer to me and that's why I'm so passionate about ribbon deseptic tank converters. So there you go. Listen, I hope that's helped you. Um, as I said, if you want to see more of me, then just go into Google, type Septic Tank TV. If you want free help and advice, then just go to septictank.co.uk. Uh, and if you'd want to find out a bit more about these septic tank converters, just go onto Google and type in ecosystem septic tank converter. You'll see a load of information about these amazing um, converters. So listen, you take care and I'll speak to you soon. If you wonder why I'm running, it's because there's a bull after me. This is the septic tank, and this is the soak away. I have no actual idea where the septic tank and soak away are. So this is an amazing place. I mean, I get to go on some really fantastic places. Today, we're talking about something that's very, very close to my heart. You know, um, so I just wanted to show you what. Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. 
This is really starting to freak me out now. I'm in a wood in the middle of nowhere. It's getting dark. I can't find the septic tank and soak away. And there's someone following me, hiding in between the trees. I mean, I'm absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Come on out, why are you hiding? And this is what we came up with, a dog poop septic tank. Yeah, that's right. And if you're just joining me, oh man, alive. Yes, I'm live on a site inspection here. Heck, that's really heavy, look at that. That's a really heavy old soak away pipe. So there you can see an outlet pipe. Now that outlet pipe is discharging straight into a water course. So this is what an electric sewage treatment plant looks like. Inside, you've got a compressor, you've got a motor, you've got cogs, you've got a belt, and you've got a shaft. Wastewater from your property enters the treatment plant through an inlet pipe. The sludge is then separated into compartment A, and the wastewater is separated into compartment B. Air pipes connected to the compressor oxygenate the wastewater, which in turn feeds the bacteria, who in turn treat and clean the sewage water inside the treatment plant. And from there, the clean water can then be discharged into the soil or a watercourse. So there you have it. That's how a domestic electric sewage treatment plant works. If you'd like to see more free videos, then just click the link below this video. Hello, Jason here. Now, week after week, many worried septic tank owners ring me asking me if their septic tank is now illegal since the government changed all the rules and regulations on the 1st of January 2020. And I want to give you the same advice that I give to them, and that is don't replace your septic tank. Now, whether your septic tank is 10 years old, 20 years old, 50 years old, or 100 year, years old, no matter what you've heard on the radio, what you've read in the newspaper or on the internet, don't replace your septic tank. There's no need to. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can make your septic tank legal in just one hour. But first, let me quickly explain what's changed. If you're a septic tank owner, why should you be worried? Why are many septic tank owners worried? Why are they ringing up concerned as to whether their septic tank is legal or illegal? Well, it's simply because of this. All septic tanks must now have something called an EN12566-3 certification. Basically, due to the Septic Tank Pollution Act, any septic tank that was installed prior to 2015 that doesn't have this certification is now illegal, whether it discharges into the soil or a, a ditch, a watercourse, whatever, it doesn't matter. Basically, the government has said if any septic tank in the UK hasn't got this certification, whether it's 50 years old, 10 years old or 100 years old, is now illegal. So that's the law as it stands. So if, if that's the case, what are your options? Now, a popular route that many septic tank owners go down is option one, and that is that they replace their old septic tank with a new one. And typically, they get two or three septic tank installation firms in to give them a quote, and typically, this will cost you anywhere from eight to ten thousand pounds. And what they'll do is they'll decommission your old septic tank and soak away, take it out, and put a new one in or they'll relocate it somewhere else in your garden if you've got room, or if you're on a shared septic tank system, they'll dig up the neighbor's garden and put a new system in there, etc. So that's option one. Now, many septic tank installation firms will say, well, hold on, it's not legal for you to put another septic tank and soak away in. And they'll insist that you go down the route of option two, and that is to replace your old septic tank with a new domestic treatment plant like one of these bio digesters. Now that will cost you anywhere from 10 to 15,000 pounds. 
and again they'll take out your old septic tank and soak away and replace it with one of these electrical systems. Now the thing about option one and option two, if you're a septic tank owner and you're selling your house, these are the only two options up to now people have had to make their septic tank legal. Well, I want to show you option three, which is an option that unfortunately um, many companies don't suggest to people because it's a lot cheaper than option one and option two. So how can you make your septic tank legal in just one hour and save thousands of pounds? Well, have a look at this. The good news is that there's a really simple and easy way to make your old septic tank legal without having to spend thousands of pounds in replacement costs. All you need is the amazing Ecosystem Septic Tank Converter. The Ecosystem is a small black box that's powered by nature, not electricity, and will turn your old septic tank into a fully legal, government-approved system. So, how does the Ecosystem Septic Tank Converter work? Well, the Ecosystem is 100% organic. Inside, organic bacteria and enzymes break the sewage waste down like a compost heap into safe, clean mineral water. So, how do you install the ecosystem? Well, the ecosystem works with all septic tanks and is very easy to install. Just dig a small hole and connect the ecosystem to your old septic tank. Job done! It really is that easy. So, how much does the amazing ecosystem septic tank converter cost? Well, it's £12,000 cheaper than having to replace your old septic tank. And for a limited time, you can now get the amazing Ecosystem Septic Tank Converter for only 3 999 But you know what? I want to make this offer even better for you. For the next few days, you can now save an extra £1,000 off the normal price, which means the amazing Ecosystem Septic Tank Converter is now only £2,999. That's a £1,000 off the normal price, which means you can now make your old septic tank legal for even less. But just a word of warning, I only have a handful of units left at this price, so once the stock's gone and it's going fast, this offer will end. So, if you want to make your old septic tank legal and compliant without having to spend ten or £15,000 or more in replacement costs, and you'd like to make your septic tank smell-free, pollution-free and safe for your family and the environment, then get your amazing ecosystem septic tank converter today. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free 